Now then, guys, welcome back to the fight back. It is episode 25. We're near, well, gone the halfway point of the season now, and things are going okay. We have got 27 points in the league, 13th in the table, and we're, we're doing okay. We are doing okay. Uh, we'll just have a look, see, before we get into anything, we'll have a look, see what we've done last time out. So, Man City, we lost 1 0. Then we lost against Bournemouth 3 2. We then played Liverpool, and I should have shown you this game because what a game this was. We beat Liverpool 3 2 away from home at Anfield, and it was crazy. Joe Lumley got a 7.8, and that is the highest rated goalkeeper that I've seen on Football Manager. Throughout my whole of my time of playing Football Manager, I don't think I've ever had a, a goalkeeper that's played that well and We'll just show you why he got that. Where's the match stats? Can I just load the match stats up here? Yeah, right, you can all see this. 27 shots Liverpool had. 14 on target. He saved every one of them near enough. Well, all them 14s were a save. We had 8, 4 on target and managed to score 3. We didn't deserve to win the game, but Liverpool were all over us. And we managed to somehow get away with it. It was... It was a very, very good game. So, we we won that. And then we played Stoke in the FA Cup. We drew 1-1. Got a replay. Really annoying. Then played Brighton. Got a nice 3-0 win with Chong, Vardy and Amos getting on the score sheet. We then played Stoke again. We managed to beat them 3-2 with Jensen, Vardy in power getting the goals. And then we played Burnley and lost 2-1. And Burnley are struggling in the league. I think they're a bit below us in the league, but they beat us 2-1. Just, we weren't really in it, to be honest with you. Um, Mamba got himself a goal, and then they scored later on in the second half, but we weren't looking like scoring, unfortunately. Uh, just one of them games. It was just one of them games we weren't going to win. Then we played Manchester United, and we lost 4-1 against Manchester United. Fuchs scoring an absolute stream of a, a scream, a streamer? A screamer of a free kick. But 4-1, and I feel like it was a bit... We should have done better. I went attacking, really, and we had more shots. We had more possession. Well, not more shots, but we had 16 shots, four on target. We had a lot of possession. We just struggled. They just came at us and showed quality. Martial was just immense. We just couldn't couldn't keep him at bay. So then it leaves us to today, where we've got two games, which I don't think we'll win, but I'm just showing you anyway, because they're, they're big games. And I thought, well, FA Cup, fourth round. Manchester United, we'll show you that because we get knocked out of the FA Cup now. We've done what we're meant to do. We've got to the fourth round. But how much would I love a cup run right now to get some money into the club would be awesome. Then we've got Chelsea in the league who in fourth place. And again, we've got, look at the run of form. We've got, well, run of, run of teams we've got to play. We've got, obviously, Chelsea and Arsenal in the league. And then we've got Aston Villa, Southampton, Preston, Stoke. They're all winnable games. Watford, Everton, winnable. Huddersfield, winnable. We have got, in the last run of games, apart from Man City and Tottenham, I believe that we could probably win all them games. We're not going to win all them games, but we stand a chance and we should get something out of them. So I definitely think we're not going to get relegated. I'm saying that now. Things could go terribly wrong. But we'll, I did mention finances, so we'll have a quick look at that. We are 600,000 in the red. We are in the transfer window. We've got 200 and odd thousand pound in fact what I'm gonna do is put that money into my wages and now there we go we're almost we're just short by a quid now no a, a thousand pounds sorry just short of a thousand pound for what we're spending so that looks better the board did give me a bit more money on wage budget I have sold a couple of players yeah I have as well we'll actually go into that a couple of players have left the club as well so we've got that's left the club we've got Gooch is left for £425,000. Morgan Fox has left the club at two hundred and twenty. pounds Devante Cole, I let him go just short of a million pounds. He wasn't good enough for us, but yeah, he was there on the backup. He he scored a goal for us this season. Yeah, out of his two appearances, he scored a goal. But the reason why I've let him go, on, go I've recalled Mazur. He's now back in the team. He's Again, he's, he's young. He's 22, two-star. The current ability, three-star potential. He's not going to be a world beater. 
but he'll do as a backup to Hines and Vardy. So that's that really. I can't get anyone else in loan on loan, which is annoying. Chong, I can't extend his loan. If we go make an offer, it won't let it do it. Do it because clubs are not allowed to sign foreign players under 23 on loan from a club in the same division. Bloody Brexit, eh? So we're going to struggle next season, I believe, because we're going to lose a lot of players. Well, yeah, we bought Michael Devlin in on loan just for a, a backup defender because I think Baldwin was on his way out. In fact, has Baldwin gone? He was going anyway, if we just sort by position here. Uh, no, Jack Baldwin's still here. He looks like he's going to be on his way out as well. But then again, that's more wage budget off the bill, which is what we want. And at least by the end of the season, sorted the wage budget out. Then we can get a decent league finish, get some money into the squad. And then I'm going to have to try and rebuild the defence, really, because we've got a few players leaving. If we do, contract expires. We've got... Um, who is leaving? Christian Fuchs is leaving. Kone is leaving. He's already signed for someone else. Walker's Peters, again, I, I couldn't sign him, but he's agreed to go to Celtic, I think he's believed. We couldn't sign him on a free, even though he's available. We could get his contract, but it just didn't even give us the option, probably because we've got him on loan. Chong, I'm going to have to buy. He's worth £22 million. Hopefully we get a good chunk of wage budget uh, as transfer budget next season, because this kid I want to bring back in. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't know if Man United are going to let him go. He has just been sensational for us since we've had him on loan, since the start of the state save, really. First time we got him in, first season, 14 games, four goals, three assists, seven. He hasn't averaged below a seven so far for us. Last season in the championship was a massive part of us going up. Yeah, he didn't score many goals. He got nine assists, five player of the matches. He just plays well. This season so far, six goals, five assists. He's showing it again that he can do it in the Premier League. He's awesome. But we're not going to see him in today's game against Manchester United. And we'll just get into this this FA Cup game. And hopefully we'll, we'll get a win. Um, I am going to play kind of a strength team, like a, a stronger team. Just because I want us to see if we can get quite far into the... Well, I say quite far. Just see if we can cause a shock, really, which would be nice. We are at home as well. So we've got the home advantage. So this is the team how we're going to line... Line up. So we've got Lumley in goal, Romero, Kone, Maguire, and Christian Fuchs starting. With Power and Toshiba. I'll keep calling him Toshiba. That's probably Toshiba. It's Aaron, whatever his name is anyway. Gray on the right hand side, Jensen in the middle, Jones on the left, and Vardy starting up front. Lee McDermott is on the bench, the youngster we saw. Well, he, he keeps popping up. He was there last season. He's scoring loads of goals in our 423s. He's on the bench, and that's pretty much it, guys. So we're just going to get straight into this game. And just see how we get on. I really want us to win just to get one over on Manchester United. And the best thing about it, we owe Manchester United can do that. And don't forget, we did draw against these guys at the beginning of the season. Was it a 3 3 we managed to get against Manchester United quite early on? I'm quite happy with that. I didn't set the opposition instructions. I can't be bothered to do the team talk, the uh, thing. And uh, that's a bit fast. Let's slow that down. Tell you what, guys, playing on a new PC is absolutely amazing. This game runs like a dream, and just I don't understand how I managed to do it. Rashford's just scored within two minutes. I just don't understand how I managed to record on the laptop I had before. <sighs> but two minutes in, Marcus Rashford has scored. And it was a lovely pass over the top, really. And then, yeah, Rashford just picks it up. Shoots. We can get back into this game. It's fine. All right, another highlight. Another Manchester United highlight, and Pogba's picking up. They've, they've not put a what is it? A weakened team out against us, and Marcus Rashford just banged himself another goal. Two 0 That lad's on fire, isn't he? It was Martial in the last game. This time, Rashford down this right hand side, well left hand side. Sorry for Manchester United. He's just yeah, just beat Romero. Shoots, and again, I don't understand how that's managed to go in. Maybe Lumley should be doing better. Maybe he must have heard me big him up. But 2-0 down in the FA Cup. I'm going to go attacking. It's going to result us into losing a lot by a bigger margin. But we just can't sit back. We've got to try and sh show some passion. Everyone's fired up. Let's go attacking and just see what we can do. Second half, we'll probably get Lee McDermott on. Just He's a young lad. Let's just get him out there. 
we're two 0 down. Just just show me what you can do, and I might just make the sub at half time as well. Actually, um, we owe Manchester United. I'll just say that, and then I might just have a quick look at the tactics. Vardy is having a poor game. I'm going to bring on. I am going to bring on Lee McDermott, and then going to move him over to the one of the wings as well to get Hines on later on. Let's just take Vardy off. He's had a bit of a a poor game so far, so we'll just see how we uh, how we get on. I have obviously rotated the midfield for this game and it might be a problem but right ball over the top can we capitalize can we close them down we can't Rashford pass to Rashford he managed to keep that in and then Manchester United on the attack Christian Fuchs does win the ball get in right Jordan Jones he's now running at Manchester United can he find anyone he gets tackled can't get a cross in or anything like that. Just gets tackled. And Manchester United on the break again. And look at Rashford in all that space. All that space Rashford is in. Pogba. Tony Djokovic. Luka Djokovic has just scored for Manchester United. Making it 3-0 on the 51-minute mark. Paul Pogba, though, he's looking good. Rashford, though, is causing all sorts of problems. Because Romero is now having to cut in on the inside. Tony cuts it in. And then Luka Djokovic is there. To put it in the back of the net for Manchester United 3-0. Right, Turney with the throw in. Find Djokovic. Can we tackle him though, Turney? Pogba. Herrera. This team's just incredible. Right, Herrera. What's he going to do with it? Can we just close him down, please? That would be nice. Ta. I'm not used to commentating on a Manchester United team. Come on. Close them down. Henderson. Right, come on. Win this header. Rashford picks the ball up, beats one man, beats two men, has the shot, doesn't get his hat tricks. Lumley is there for the for the easy save. Right, who, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Because midfield wise are struggling. Damari Gray is having a poor game. I'm going to, that's it. I'm going to bring, swap these two round. Hines can come on. And then out of the midfield, who's performing badly? Max Power. Let's bring on. The young lad, Mamba. Can I swap them two round? I can. You can go as a Mazala because that's what you like doing. 3-0 down. I don't think there's much more I can ask them to do, really, is there? We've had 10 shots. Two on target. Manchester United have only had nine shots. Five on target and scored three of them, which is annoying. We've had all the possession. Just... Man, you've just been the more attacking team, really. Harry Maguire heads the ball out and then comes back to him and he just boots it out. That's what you want to see from your defender. He's on a 70% rating. His conditioning is dropping. We can't afford for him to be injured. All right, time is ticking by, though. It's three, two minutes to go now. It's going to end 3-0. Manchester United are going to knock us out of the FA Cup. Hines has picked up a bit of a knock. Jordan Jones cuts in on this inside. Shoots. We don't get a consolation goal. One minute to go. 3-0. To say that we've played bad would be an understatement because we've had the shots, we've had the target, we've had the possession. Just Man United have just been more clinical. And it's just, they've just had the better teams, the better strikers. That's that's generally just pretty much it. We've just lacked in that sort of kind of areas of the game. Romero makes a good tackle. He's struggled. He's on like a five rating or something like that. Um, but, but he would be. He's, he's trying to mark Marcus Rashford who's just on fire. And Herrera picks the ball up. Turney's on the ball again. They're attacking us. Romero does make the tackle. Rashford picks the ball up. Is he going to get his hat-trick? Marcus Rashford manages to get his hat-trick with about four seconds to go. 4-0. Again, Manchester United have scored four goals against us. How are we going to do against Chelsea? And why am I showing you these games? But Turney just runs in. Romero makes the tackle, but he just falls to Rashford. And Rashford just cuts in on the inside. Shoots. Scores. 4-0. Rashford deserves that hat-trick, really. And come on, ref, just blow the whistle now. Just get it over and done with. Ball over the top, Jensen. Second game in a row against Manchester United. And Manchester United score four goals past us. 5.9 for Romero. He struggled. It was against Rashford. Rashford just absolutely just destroyed it, didn't he? Um, I'm far from pleased. I'm going to tell him that. 4-0. If we lose 1-0, that's not too bad. So Chelsea next. So we'll get straight into that Chelsea game. Right, guys. Here we are for the Chelsea game. A couple of changes made. Uh, back four kind of stays the same. Lumley's obviously in goal. Romero, Coney, Maguire and Fuchs are the back four. 
Power and Amos comes into the midfield. Chong is starting on the right-hand side. Jensen, Jordan Jones is going to start ahead of Damari Gray, just because he, I think he's just playing a lot better this season. Vardy's going to be up front. We have an injury to Hines, who is he's out for a couple of days. He picked up a bit of a knock in the last episode. So he's out for a couple of games. Not a problem, though, because we've got Maggio. I'm going to bring him on the bench. McDermott is dropped out of the team. I probably should put him back into the... Should he stay in the squad? Now I'm going to put him back into the under-23s, let him get some more experience in the under-23s, playing some games. And that's it, so let's get into this game, because this episode is getting a little bit long now, um, but it'll be fine. Uh, I'm still not too sure on the whole camera angle on lot. And Golo Kante, what a player. So, again, we drew against Chelsea last time we played them, but we're away this time. Can we get some sort of result? Let's just passionately say... I know underdogs, yeah, they don't care about us being underdogs. We need, if, if we get a point, it would be nice because we haven't won in a couple of games now and just we don't want that sort of run of form going into the end of the season because we don't want to be pushed into a relegation battle. I know we're eight points clear of Swansea at the minute, but a couple of losses and no results. And what's going on here? What do I normally have here? Match stats, is it? Uh, latest scores, that's what we normally have, isn't it? There we go. League tables there. So, yeah, we, what is it? Where are we? 13th. If we get a win today, realistically, we are looking kind of more... If we go on a massive run, probably 10th place. Right, Lumley. Ball over the top run from Romero. Romero heads it to Chong. Chong is now in. Finds Vardy. And there's the goal. And to be honest with you, we've missed Chong the past couple of games. He couldn't play against Manchester United. But Romero is linked up with Chong nicely there. Who's then set up Jamie Vardy to get his ninth goal of the season. And Chong is, we need to sign him next season. And I've just got to, if our, if our wage budget, our, our budget isn't enough to sign him, I'm going to be upset because I need to do a bit of a budget players as well. I've got to try and find, like I say, def, de, decent left back, another centre back. Um, yeah, right, Jensen picks the ball up. Chong's in here. And Chong, oh, he should have been in. He should have scored that. At 1 0 up. So I need to start obviously thinking about next season as well. Start scouting some players just to see if we can get anyone decent in on little money who just to have a look who's out of contract. Again, some of the, I like these aging players, you know, like Jamie Vardy and people like that. People with experience, like James Milner, I looked in, but Chong is in again here. Crosses the ball in, finds Jordan Jones, can't find him. Kante loses out. Jordan Jones hits the post. We are all over. Right, here we go, Romero. To Amos, shoots. 1-0. And things are going, okay, we are all over Chelsea at the minute. Well, you say that, 63% possession. They've had more shots, more on target. We've just had that one shot on target and scored it with Jamie Vardy. But half-time, we are 1-0 up at Stamford Bridge. We pulled off some, we just pulled off some weird results, I tell you now. But let's... I'm just going to tell them I'm happy with the performance so far. Don't get complacent. That's the only problem. We don't want us to start losing out now and concede a couple of early goals on in this second half. If we get to the 60-minute mark, which it looks like we're going to, do I want to make any changes, though? That's the thing. Probably not at the minute. Right, Chelsea have got to throw in their, their half quite deep. Dolberg picks it up. Kasper Dolberg is playing for them. And he was a legend for me last season. If you've watched my Leicester save, he did really well for us. Right, Williams in, crosses it in, Morata's there, 1-1. One, one. And to be honest with you, Chelsea was going to get back into this game. We weren't going to stay out and win. We've had all the possession and, again, just, just caught out wide here. William, Christian Fuchs isn't kind of following his man. Cross comes in and Morata's there to score it. 1-1, one, one. it's fine. I'm just going to time to show some passion. They're frustrated by that. Do we make a sub? That's the question. Damari Gray, I think, will come on for Jordan Jones. Delitz in and Delitz scores 2-1. Let's get on Damari Gray. I'm probably going to go... I don't know why he looks unhappy. Right, if we go that and then if I maybe push it up. Because we're losing. Let's just go a bit more positive. Do I want to make any other changes? Not yet, no. Right, annoyingly, we're 2-1 down. We're in 12th place still, though. P teams behind us are losing as well. And it's just from a corner. No one's really marking Delit, and he scores. Right, 70 minutes. The team's looking anxious. Max Power's not having a good game. So if I take Max Power off, I'm going to bring on Mamba. 
he can have a good game. I'm just trying to think, do I make any other subs? Bardi's got the goal. Jensen's... I'm tempted. Take Jensen off. Bring on Mazur. He likes to play as... Do you know what? I could probably swap these two around. He can go as an advanced forward. Then you can play as in a pressing forward how you want to play. Mamba then can be a... Just a box to box midfielder. That could work. We need to grab a goal, so we'll just have to see how it is, and then I'm just going to shout at them. And I don't know, actually, Mazur's in here. First start of the season for him. Josh Mazur has just come on and equalised for Sunderland to make it 2 2. What the hell does that? He's just come on the pitch. Fuchs wins the ball here, plays it to Damari Gray. Big ball over the top, and Josh Mazur's in. Just. Slots it in. What about composure for that? His first game in the Premier League. And he results in a goal. It says his third goal of the season. But that's because he's been playing for... Actually, he wasn't in the Premier League. I don't think he was. I think he was playing in the Championship last season. Well, no, this season. He was on loan. But I did recall his loan. Uh, right. What do we do now? Um, probably drop back down to cautious again, do we? I don't know. Kante's in, though. Kante shoots. Goes over. That's fine. So tell him to concentrate. Is that going to... Just going to tell him, overwhelmed. I'm just telling you to concentrate. Right, William with the free kick. Lumley with the save and the clearance in. Here's the goal line kind of technology kicking in. It didn't go in. That would do. I'll take 2 2 against Chelsea. It will put us up into 12th place. And we just, they just need to concentrate. Really do need to concentrate. I don't know if to drop anyone back. There's another corner, and I hate watching us defend corners. Just, just tackle it, clear it up the pitch. And what a goal. Williams there. And then maybe he's dropping. Let's just go attack him. 3-2. What a game this is. And we're showing heart. We're just we're just lacking that concentration like I told him to do, really. There's four minutes to go of normal time. And then there's a bit of added time to go on at the end. And Williams there just lurking at the edge of the box. That's a good goal. We can't take it away from him. Just. Right. We've gone attacking. And I just don't want them to score another goal because that would be like 12 goals we've conceded in three matches. Which is a problem, isn't it? But yes, it is against Manchester United. It is against, well, two Manchester United games and Chelsea who are, should be beating us. But 3-2, this... I'm going to be disappointed not to get a draw out of this. Josh Mazur, though, it's good that he's come in. Got a goal. Can he do it again right? Gray. It doesn't reach Mazur, and that's going to be it, guys. We're going to lose this one 3-2, and I feel like, well, to be honest with you, look at Chelsea's shots. 29 shots Chelsea have had, 14 on target. We've had all the possession. We've only had three shots on target. We scored two of them. Chelsea were the more attacking team. We were the more, we just had the possession. It just shows, if you've got the possession, it doesn't really matter, does it? You've just got to put your chances away. We're not really creating them. That's We're lacking that creative ability in attack. Chong had a good first half, but he ended up on a... What did he end up on, Chong? Let's have a look. A 6.7. Didn't do that great. But Maggi's come on. Got himself a goal. All in all, it's, it's just a weird one. I'm just going to put unlucky boys. They were unlucky. It was kind of a last-minute goal, really, wasn't it? But it ends us there in 13th place on 27 points. We are still 8 points clear of Burnley, which is nice. Um, we should have beat Burnley, though. And let's just have a quick look to see where I'm going to be coming back. Why has it done it in this view? Right? It's, that's There we go. I might just play the whole of February and come back and do the Watford-Everton game uh, just to see how we get on. We've got, obviously, a, look at these. One, two, three. We've got four games without winning. But look at that. Burnley, we should have won. Manchester United. We've got Arsenal next. Are we going to get a result against Arsenal? Probably not. I think they're top of the league. No, they're seventh. We can maybe cause an upset there. We have caused upsets to these bigger teams, but it's more the Aston Villa, Southampton, Preston, Stoke games. I want to win at least two of them games, draw one of them. So, what, seven points out of them four games would be nice. Watford, Everton should get results against at least Watford, at least, and then go into the back end of the season. I'll then just do the West Ham 
and Man City game because we're going to be mid-table unless there's a relegation battle going on, which I doubt there will be. So guys, this episode has dragged on long enough. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, if you're new here, leave a like, subscribe. I think we want 74 subscribers, which is awesome. But let's just try and push it. I need one more to get a milestone. So this us get another subscriber. Make it 75. Anyway, guys, thank you, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you in a bit.